put this away for now. And Doberman. All right, Johnny Five. Meet Bob, your replacement. Hope there's no hard feelings about that. Of course not. Okay, let's see. I've got a frag grenade. Oh, got some Willy Pete there. That's nice. No longer, all right, I no longer have my surfboard. Still have that ridiculous mask that makes me look like a character from Hotline Miami. And we're... Eh, it's beneficial. Alrighty. Okay, okay, let's see if we can speak to Madame Kubota, Mrs. Kubota. Was there something else, oh my? I found this list in a data story at, store at Mercy Mental. Oh my, this is unspeakable. <clears throat> Murder was not enough for this person. Selling patients as Bunraku's slaves. Thank you for bringing this to me. I know you are still hot on the trail of your friend Sam's killer. I will contact, contact some runners to liberate these poor souls from the buyers in this list. Oh, okay, so we, um, yeah, oh, we got, we got, we got the data, we got the names of some of his customers. Oh, okay, cool. So some of the people who... Justice for all. Yeah, so some of the people who bought his victims we can find, and we can, they'll be found now. We've done much good here today. The Hand of the Ripper, this... The hand of the Ripper was more of a monster than anyone could have known. No problem. Good luck, Mrs. Kubota. You as well. All right. The hand of the Ripper. Well, because like you know, talk about how like you know, sort of like you know, there's some like the Ripper is like sort of the person who's you know behind, who's like pulling the that guy's strings, you know. Ah, uh, yes. It's like you know the. I mean, you know, the real higher power behind him is, of course, Vince McMahon. Right. And Well, higher power, obviously. All right. Take a cab to Sam and Melinda Watts' funeral. Shall we go? Sure. Kind of a rhetorical question. All right. On to the cemetery. Family debts. The sun has nearly set when you reach Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Its cemetery, dilapidated and outgrown, sits atop a small hill on the outskirts of the city, a somber enclave of the dead overlooking the sprawl of the living. The Seattle rain continues unabated and lightning appears over the horizon, exposing the landscape in staccato, flash, staccato pulses of stark flashes. You walk the gravel path to the gates of the cemetery. Up ahead you see Coyote and Jake. Stay hey, remember Jake? Uh, was he Coyote's... Boyfriend? No, it was uh, Jake Armitage, the guy we met early on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was sleeping in the morgue. <laughs> yeah. Up ahead, and like I said, he was actually the protagonist of the Super NES Shadowrun game. <clears throat> All right. Up ahead, you see Coyote and Jake standing by the gravesite alongside Je Jessica Watts and another mourner, a beautiful elven woman in a six-figure outfit. Whatever Dr. Holmes was up to at Mercy Mental Hospital, the answers lie here, with the reinterred body of Melinda Watts. The recently deceased body of Sam Watts, and with those attending them at the ceremony. Hmm. Uh oh, it's asking us to equip ourselves. So am I going to show up at the am I going to show up at the funeral wearing this mask then? I guess. I assume so. Packing heat. Well, it's Shadowrun. Of course, I'm packing heat. You have karma available to improve your character's attributes and skills. Open the karma screen. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, we got a couple more. We got five now. Let's see, let's go bring Rage Combat to five. Boost Dodge. Intelligence. Remote control. Alright, let's 
bring drone control up to five. And remember, drone combat is like a uh, sub-ability of drone control. So if you want to bring drone com combat to five, drone, drone control has to be at least five. As you may recall. Right. And, the, and, and then the drone control in, in turn is a subset of the attribute intelligence. All right, let's continue. <clears throat> All right, bringing my robots along. <laughs> oh, there's Jessica. The mourners stand graveside, listening to the Catholic priest's words of prayer and solace. Jessica's face is filled with relief as the last of her family is laid to rest. Father O'Malley, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, Lord receives the souls of Sam and Melinda Watts, mother and son, to live forever by your side. Amen. I feel like Father o a Father O'Malley should have a really stereotypical accent, but I, I've offended the Irish demographic enough. <laughs> and during God uh, Save the Queen, I could do it. But... No, no, <laughs> please. <don't. laughs> <laughs> Jessica Watts, thank you, thank you, Father. I know that my mother rests easier now that she's finally late, late, she's finally in the parish cemetery. Father O'Malley, I'm sorry for the recent loss of your brother, but I'm glad that reinterring your bother, your mother's body here has brought you comfort. She loved the parish, so. Jessica, she opens her hands to the elf standing across from her. Thank you for coming, Lynn. Your support has meant the world to me. Now I can live again with my new family. New family? The woman is a classic elven beauty, confident, poised, expensively dressed. Of course. I am, I am glad this ancient ritual brings you some measure of solace. I hope you'll be able to put all of this behind you now. Jessica what? Jessica speaks to the rest of you. Thank you all for coming. I didn't realize Sam had so many friends. I appreciate your support and your friendship with Sam. Oh, there's Jake. Jake Armitage. I saw him out the night he died. Only fitting I see him out today. Coyote. Sam may have had his problems, but he was our friend. Part of the Union family. He will be missed. By his bartender. Miss, Wa Miss Watts, family members and friends, thank you for attending the service. I suggest we don't linger long. The cemetery, the cemetery isn't safe after dark. Just watch. Thank you, Father. We'll just be just a moment. You have a couple of you can say, actually, if you could stay, I have a few things I'd like to discuss. Or, Ms. Watts, I know this isn't the best time, but we need to talk. Or you can say, not so fast, sister. I need some answers out of you. And because Flandry, I think we all know what because Flandry is an asshole, is. her eyes widen at the edge in your voice. I'm sure Father O'Malley doesn't appreciate such a tone on these grounds. Father, if you'll excuse us. Of course, I'll be just inside if you need me. The priest gives you an appraising look before moving off toward the nearby church. Well, he's not moving off very fast. Oh, there we go. Wait, she's got her... Coyote has her weapon out! Look at that! Yeah, well, she's, she's a tough girl. You know how they are. Well, the priest did mention the cemetery is not safe after dark. Yeah. Father Father O'Malley, and you'll, you'll see, you'll you'll find out a bit why soon enough. Father O'Malley leaves, granting you an opportunity to speak with Jessica. But it's hardly a private conversation, as the elf, Lynn, has chosen to stay and support her friend. As it so happens, Jake and Coyote have also lingered, lending you support, too. Jessica Watts. All right. What would you like to talk about, Flandry? All right. Got a couple choices. Let's start with your mother. Did you? Let's start with your mother. Did you know she was an organ donor? Let's talk a little more about Sam. Did you know he had a liver transplant? Or how about a man named Holmes? Do you know him? Let's let's not go straight for, straight for the throat. Let's bring up the mother. Did you know she was an organ donor? Jessica's demeanor turns oddly cool and stony in response to such a simple question. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Interesting. Then can you explain how her body parts made their way into half a dozen recipients? You don't know what you're talking about. 
Interesting. Hmm. I know Sam helped your mother save lives through that donation. Her jaw clenches. She wasn't a donor. She was a victim. A victim of my brother's greed. He took from her, desecrating her body, all to benefit himself. She never would have agreed to such a thing. Interesting. So, so Sam presumably sold her organs to one of those chop shops to buy booze. Hmm. Tristan, are not even to save the lives of others? Lives like Sam's? Or do you think she would have approved of Holmes killing people to retrieve her organs? Not even to save the lives of others? Lives like Sam's? Cracks are starting to appear on Jessica's carefully crafted mask. Sam destroyed his own liver pursuing oblivion. That was his choice. Your mother's gift meant a second chance for Sam. It was not a gift. It was stolen. And I wasn't about to let him destroy what little remained of her with his vulgar appetites. Uh-oh. And so you hired Holmes to get it back. Jessica's eyes burn with righteous anger. Gone are any attempts to hide her guilt. Dr. Holmes made my mother whole again. He made it possible for me to place her to rest and say goodbye. He killed Sam! And a half dozen other people whose lives had been saved by your mother. She snaps. Those people were scavengers. Ghouls! They deserved to die for desecrating my mother's body. Speaking of ghouls... Wow. And poor Sam? It was his drinking and debauchery that drove my mother to the grave. As sure as if he had murdered her himself. My mother deserved honor and dignity. I gave her that today. She's finally whole again with a proper Catholic burial. Those ghouls who stole her organs, including Sam, paid the price for their sins. The beautiful elf breaks in, the essence of calm. Jessica, that's enough. We have business to attend to. At the Vidal Sassoon Academy, where... Je my, old fa my old family is dead and buried where they should be. They can't taint my, taint my new family now. They can't corrupt my children. I won't go through that again. Again, this reference to a new family. Je oh, good. Jessica, we need to go. Now! She presses a button on her comlink. Jessica, watch, seethes at you. What happens now is on your head. If you had just walked away when I told you to, McCluskey would have eventually found Holmes, collected his lieutenant's badge, and closed the case. But you had to keep digging. Now you and your friends have to die. Let their blood be on your hands. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Ma'am, we received your code red. Ow! Butthole? <laughs> Only three? No problem. All right, they're hightailing it out of here. Man, she has a lot of AP. I was gonna say... Okay, so, it is, the battle is on. 